What is good everybody, welcome back to another Money of Toys video. Today we're diving into the brand new ringside exclusive WWE Elite Defining Moments 4 pack. Now this is ringside exclusive, so if you guys wanted to grab this, go over to ringside collectibles, use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, man. But today we're stepping into the time capsule. The Defining Moments figures have returned from Mattel. And they are ringside exclusive. And it looks like we are getting this big box set with four different figures in there. Mankind, Cody Rhodes, Brett the Hitman Hart, and Shawn Michaels. You guys can see the classic Defining Moments logo right here on the box. It seems like yesterday these figures were upon us. And now we're getting a brand new set that I'm excited to get into with you. If you're clicking on this video, this is all four reviews in one. But you've probably seen the individual reviews as well. But if you guys like the long-winded reviews with all of them in one, man, this is going to be the video for you. However we have reviewed them all individually so definitely go check those out but spinning around this big box set guys you will see the box art with mankind cody rhodes bret hart and Shawn michaels i cannot wait i i already asked mattel specifically i said is wave two or the, the next four pack of guys in this style box is it already decided on and they said yes they're already working on the next four characters i'm very intrigued to see who it is and what they choose will it be more modern than this will it be moments before this era we will have to see man we do have one modern talent in there but i feel like most of the i mean i say modern but some of these were 30 years ago or almost 30 years ago oh brother spinning it on the back you do have the ringside exclusive logo and then you have the wwe logo and then on the other side you also have the artwork yet again so you get the artwork on both sides similar to the retro four packs and stuff like that and then on the top of the packaging you guys will see all four talents here very very similar to the packaging that we saw ba back in the day and the packaging that i'm sure that resides in here but you guys can see there mankind the american nightmare cody rhodes not the america nightmare elite 101 cody Shawn michaels brett hitman Hart. but all those things being said man let's crack all four of the guys out of this packaging and find out what the packaging looks like all right, man, so here are all four figures out of their packaging or out of the box set, I must say. And you guys can see here, all four of these are significantly smaller. Now, I could have swore, like, I've seen a lot of people sharing online how, how much smaller these boxes are compared to the original. But we discussed that when we saw them at WrestleMania, you know. I talked about that when we saw these figures on display in the WrestleMania case at WrestleMania out in L.A. And I still dig it. I still think it's really small and compact. You could, like, chunk these out in the yard. I think these are going to display much better. You you don't have a lot of like unnecessary space in the packaging and stuff like that so i dig this but here is bret hart i love how you like it's so detailed man you have bret hart here you got a window there you got the stuff on the back it's not see-through in the back like it used to be but you get the ring set exclusive on the spot there mattel you got defining moments with the modern logo and then you have bret on the sides and then you have the modern logo and then on the back you do get a nice bio read of each character with the guy there man i mean all four of these look fantastic in the packaging i'm really digging all four of them here's mankind still think he looks jacksy we're gonna pop him out find out what he's all about of course but there is mankind we also have hbk over here who is also looking damn good one of my favorites and then the one i'm probably most excited for is going to be the american nightmare cody Rhodes here as you guys can see there very clean man in individual reviews i'm gonna go into their packaging much deeper than i am in this video but i am so hyped for this cody man he looks fantastic looking at this all just is so sick man i might have to get a minute on car version of this man look at that right there on the back i mean it feels like yesterday he had that match with seth rollins and now here we are in the four pack in the defining moments era but let's shut the hell up pop all four of these guys out of the packaging put them on the rotating base and see what you get if you do buy the four pack complete of the defining moments ringside exclusive bret hart mankind Shawn michaels and cody rhodes figures so here's the full figure set out of the packaging spinning round and round all four figures individually packaged there of course after removing them from the package man i pose these guys around i have played around with their accessories i've accessed their abilities seen what the hell they can do on the football field and i'm digging it i'm digging this first pack and i can't wait i remember i think it was shortly before wrestlemania out in la i said two of the i think two of the biggest things that i was waiting on was to see where the ruthless aggression series was going and then seeing what would come of the defining moments and i think this is bad a how we have four new figures and we're going to be getting a new four pack maybe sean off at san diego comic-con maybe maybe it'll come later in the year we'll get an idea on who that will be but maybe we'll get 
awesome render images at San Diego Comic-Con, which is actually a month away or so. It's about five, six weeks away, and I cannot wait for it, man. I am just, I'm giddy. I feel like yesterday it was WrestleMania, and we got to see all these damn figures they showed off, and now we're going to get more figures shown off, so I'm excited, man. But nonetheless, we're going to go one by one through each individual figure, breaking down the figure itself, its accessories, and its comparisons, and then we will rank this set from worst to best in my own personal opinion. So let's shut the hell up and dive into each individual figure and find out what happens with the return of the Defining Moments WWE Elite set. Alright guys, so for the accessories you get with the Cody Rhodes Defining Moments figure, man, I think the big one is going to be the cowbell accessory here. And, I mean, let's go through the other stuff first, because just to knock it out. Same Nightmare weight belt we saw with the Elite 101. Same trash sculpt. It's not accurate. It has no belt loop on it. It's not accurate, and it's not going to be fixed for a long time. I don't know what to tell you, Brad. It's garbage. I, I hate it. Outside of that, you do get mic holding hands. The right side does have the hand tape, as always, with Cody Rhodes. So you get mic holding hands. You get the fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. Same thing. Right hand is taped. Left hand is not. And last but not least, you get the throne sitting, prayer clasping, you know, sit down, chilling, uh, sort of relaxed style entrance. Whoa, Cody Rhodes hands. And then for the accessory that we all came here for is going to be the cowbell, man. And I gotta be real with you. When I first saw this on display at WrestleMania, I didn't really know what he was holding. And then I finally saw it and I was like, oh, okay, we have like a, it's a, it's a damn cowbell from the matchup with Seth Rollins. So you have the cowbell here and a lot of people are probably thinking that it's going to be really stiff it actually has like quite a pliability with it now it's not loose like a form-fitting chain or something like that but i think it gets the job done and you could strap this to a couple people's wrists if you wanted to you know you could easily unhook a hand like here's the figure right here you could just clasp that in there right there plug the hand in and then attach it to somebody and easily do that you could have a bull rope match if you wanted to it's a bull rope it's not really a cowbell i mean it's a bull rope with a cowbell on it but you, you get the point but it's got a lot better, like, it's it's more loose than you'd think. This end's a little bit tighter than this end. This end's pretty loose and stuff like that. So I can, you know, you might be able to use it. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest with you. I think Jax did it the correct way. But, you know, it is a first-time-in-the-line accessory, which I can appreciate. All right, man, getting into the Cody Rhodes figure itself, starting out the head sculpt. You guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's the Elite 101, but it's got slightly different paint apps that make it look better and more like Cody. I mean, like, look at this right here, man. It's kind of wild how much better it looks and how much more accurate it looks to Cody. It's just unbelievable, to be honest with you, but head sculpt looks phenomenal. It's probably the thing I was most excited for, just because I think it looks just like Cody. I mean, you may be looking at the best Cody head sculpt they've ever done. It's definitely up there. It's got the jaw tattoo. I've, I've discussed this at nauseum on the channel, but this isn't accurate. His neck tattoo does not come that close to the ear. There's supposed to be a big gap between his ear to the, where the tattoo actually is. I talked about it on the channel. I think it was during the Ultimate review, maybe. Or maybe it was during Action Figure Surgery, but I covered it, and it's it's just, it, they need to fix it. Dream Tattoo, you do have the Torn Peck bruising in there. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's as gruesome as it could be, but this is still really cool of Mattel to do. I think it was like, you know, it had some yellows and some bright pinks and some ugliness in there, and I might custom paint this one up just to add that detail in there, just to have it, you know, just because I love Cody and I want it to be super accurate, but still badass. I think it looks awesome. Double jointed arms. I like this torso and formula for Cody. Cool tights in here. You got the half blue, half white, two of my favorite colors. So that looks really clean with me and then you throw in the red and gold to tie it all together I mean, what do you want man? That looks all good. You got the stars in there. The blue looks clean clean deco I still think I need to oh, yeah go all the way down to the boots It's the same white boots with the American Nightmare logo on there But I want to get another one of these so I can have Cody with the bruise and then Cody without the bruise man But I am enjoying this figure a lot uh, it, It's just a it's a good formula man. He posed around well Cody Rhodes figures have always been like that Especially from Mattel like his elites always pose around really really well, but let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparison. Oh my god in heaven. What are you doing, Cody? Let's get into some Cody Rhodes figure comparison. So for your Cody Rhodes figure comparisons, the you know, this is all elites we've gotten this year. We have the Ultimate Edition, you have the Defining Moments, and then you have the Elite 101. Very similar, you know, he is in yellow over here, underneath here, and of course this figure is coming soon. I imagine before the end of the summer, everybody will have their Ultimate Cody's in hand. I think I ordered like five of them, so I, you know, I'm gonna be having the, I'm gonna be getting uh, some good stuff going on with 
these Cody Rhodes fix-ups and stuff like that. Need to grab another one of these, though. I really like these all up next to each other. I think this is just the tip of the iceberg for the Cody figures. I imagine we're, like, we have a top talents coming soon that is new deco. We're going to get more and more of them as the year goes on. We're going to get more and more as he continues to chill in WWE. I'm sure we'll get some throwback ones to go along with our Stardust. Cody Rhodes, man, I love him. I think he's fantastic. He's slowly become, he's pretty much become one of my favorite WWE wrestlers right now, man. I, I'm not a fan of the Brock stuff right now, but ah, I wanted to witness him finish the story. I was front row. He won the Rumble, and then I go to Mania, sit on the floor to see him finish the story. Couldn't get the job done, man. Damn. And then for your AEW figure comparisons with our Cody, we do have the Defining Moments in the middle. Then you have the TNT ringside exclusive. So now Cody has two ringside exclusive. He has a ringside exclusive WWE Elite Mattel, and then he has a ringside exclusive Cody AEW Jazzwares. But there's the TNT ringside exclusive, the Unrivaled Series 1B, the Walmart exclusive Supreme, the Supreme Collection Series 1, the Basic Ring Cody, like the UK Basic Ring Cody, and then you have the Unrivaled Series 4. So, enjoying all these, man. Love the Cody figures. They're fun to collect, and I can't wait for more WWE Elite Cody. So, for Shawn Michaels accessories, you do get the nice entrance gear, which is like this stretchy material. You guys will see it's like kind of like faux leather, I guess, but uh, maybe the pants aren't as stretchy. They, they, you know, they have a little bit of a stretch, but you guys can see the pattern on there. They're like black with these silver circles with red and blue. I think these are cool for certain styles. You know, I think they work sometimes, and sometimes they don't work. In this case, I don't know how I feel about it you know especially the entrance jacket or the sleeve deal here like this is supposed to go across his back like his upper back and then you velcro it in the front but uh you can't like putting his arms down while he's wearing this makes it like fold up like a damn lawn chair it looks weird man it's like all bunched up and i guess it's better than rubber but at the same time i don't know like i guess i'd rather have this over rubber it's just it, it can be a bit finicky you got to be careful like moving it around and posing it you guys can see that it is stretchy like it, it's nice but it's very odd it's it, I, I don't even, I feel like I'm dealing with a damn tablecloth or something, but I guess, you know, I, again, I do like it over rubber accessories, I can say, so that gets the job done, I guess, but there is that. We also get his nice cowboy hat in the black color, which does fit the head sculpt pretty snug, I'd say. I think it goes on there well. Damn gallon jug hat that he's got going here, but it looks good, and I, I appreciate it, and uh, I like the cowboy hat. I think it's a nice touch to the HBK figure. And then, of course, we do have our mic holding hands here, which are very weird, because, like, the print is like off you guys can see hey, look at that right there the paint apps go over the red and it just kind of messes with it in my opinion it doesn't completely go so that kind of pisses me off and then the same thing happens on the fisted hands like look how weird the shape is right here like i'm pretty sure there's supposed to be red that goes right through there so i don't i don't know what's going on there or like why the shape is that way unless i'm tripping it's supposed to be that way but even down here like look the paint doesn't go through so it just looks weird and then he doesn't have red pegs so then it throws it off even more so i don't know that's just a bit weird to me especially with the defining moments figure man you want that stuff to be down to a t all right man, so getting into the Shawn michaels starting out at the head sculpt i mean i think this Shawn michaels has a likeness I just don't think it's my favorite head sculpt. I also think that the head sculpt's a bit oversized compared to the rest of the body. And I don't know, it almost looks like this. they just like super glued this hair on here. I, I just don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of this guy, at least in the head sculpt department. I think it shares likeness, but it looks like the basic 100 head sculpt with like some random hair thrown on it. Honestly, it kind of looks like a custom head sculpt. I think the greatest hits head sculpt and the WrestleMania 30 elite figure that we saw not too long ago that we just saw re-released in the greatest hits is a better likeness. I think it's a better figure as far as the head sculpt's concerned, but you do get stomach and chest hair, which is good. He's got his tattoo. He's got the weird hand tape because of the hands. Like, I guess it lines up, but it's just weird. I don't know. I, I just don't like it, but love this gear. I think you can make some cool customs and fix-ups with this gear. I wish he had knee pads as well, but I do like the Texas hearts, and they look all cool there. Heartbreak kid there. Looking pretty good. I like everything going on here. The red color's nice. He's got the black kick pads in there, which is, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> Jesus. I wish they'd give us a new boot mold, but I'm digging the Sean, you know, his figures are poseable and everything like that, but let's take a look at some other Shawn Michaels figures up next to this one. So for your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons, guys, here's the defining moments in the middle. You have the ringside exclusive DX, the fan takeover Amazon exclusive Sean Ultimate Edition. You have the first Ultimate Edition. You have the greatest hits figure that I was just talking about in comparison with this one. WrestleMania 33 Shawn Michaels from WrestleMania 12, and then you have the new Legends figure back there. And I like all these Shawns, you know, taking a look at the Shawn collection and everything like that. I just don't like 
like, look at the head sculpts. I think this is my least favorite out of all of them. This one's my favorite. I think these are just perfect. I think these look so good, especially the original WrestleMania Elite. I painted the, like, the little things that are on there, like the hair ties. I painted those green and put them on there. Looks phenomenal. I love the way that looks, and then you have the rest here, but, you know, they're not bad. They're just, I, I don't know. I just, I, there's so much here. Like, I, I think the head sculpt could be better, and I think with a better head sculpt, this figure is going to be much, much better, but nonetheless, that is your Shawn Michaels figure comparisons. And then for a Bret Hart accessories, we do get the leather jacket here, which is very awesome. I actually saw somebody post this up on Instagram, like, just today or yesterday, and they have this, like, rain-worn jacket, this exact jacket from this matchup here, and it looks damn good, you know? You got, like, this skull spider-style deal going on. It says Hitman. It's got the bone and the blood. Looks very clean. I will say the jacket kind of feels like, like, you could tear it, you know? It's very stretchy. You could easily tear this in half or, like, put a hole in it, so be careful, man. I recommend removing the hands of the Bret Hart figure before you take it off and before you put it on, just so you don't ruin it. You know, you'd hate to ruin a beautiful jacket here such as this. Looks good on the figure and everything, and I love having, you know, new cloth goods for our figures, so this is a first time in line. I don't think we've ever seen this jacket before, so that works for me. And then what would a Bret Hart figure be without his signature sunglasses, even though they're not completely accurate? You know, they fit the head sculpt well. It's the Elite 94 style glasses, and it fits that head sculpt particularly well, so that is good. Outside of that, you do get your handshaking Kawhi Leonard ricochet entrance style hands for Bret Hart, which we've seen a hundred times. I think this came with the Elite 69, Tommaso Ciampa, and Ricochet first. That's why I call them the Ricochet hands, but they're also very massive, but they work. And then you get the always sexy mic holding hands, which make the world go round, which are always beautiful. All right, so getting into defining moments, Bret Hart, man. This is the Elite 94 head sculpt, and it looks good. I like this head sculpt. One of the better Mattel head sculpts as far as Bret Hart is concerned, I would say. But this is a good head sculpt. You know, I just found the Chase Elite 94 the other day, so it's very similar to this, except you do have the black lines on the torso or the singlet, which really completes it. I honestly feel like this is a good torso for him, but I feel like when you compare the Ultimate Edition to, like, other Ultimate Editions, he looks so damn small. But, uh, I like the singlet. I love the, the graphics and everything you got going on here. He does have the elbow pads, pink wrist tape, pink singlet going all the way down. You got Hitman on the butt there, and then he's got, like, his designs in black stripe. You have the four hearts here, pink knee pads, which look good. I wish they gave Shawn Michaels knee pads, by God, but all of these look good, man. I, I, I love Bret Hart figures. I think they're so clean. You have the pink star down here with the pink boots. Some of the best boots in the game. The white and black and the pink really saturated. Look so good, man. Some of the best boots of all time, for sure. But this is a damn good figure, man. I know it's very similar to the Elite 94. I mean, you're looking at an Elite 94 repaint, pretty much, but, you know, he's not on ball joints or anything like that, but you got a, a really good Bret Hart here, man. If you're a Bret Hart fan, you're really gonna enjoy this piece, but let's get into some Bret Hart figure comparisons. So for your Bret Hart figure comparisons, man, you do have the defining moments in the middle here. We have the Legends Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition. You have the first Ultimate Edition Bret Hart. The WCW Elite 2-Pack with Goldberg. The Elite 94 Chase. The Elite 94 Regular Edition. And then the Survivor Series Elite, which is really cool as well. A lot of cool color schemes going on. But I'm enjoying this. You know, I am missing quite a bit of Bret Hart figures. I'm missing the all-pink attack ringside exclusive, like the original one with the pink jacket and the pink packaging. I'm missing the first defining moments. I'm missing the second ringside exclusive, like the King of the Ring Brett. Used to have that one, traded that away. Had a really hot pink color going on. So yeah, I'm, I'm missing a few Bret Hart figures for sure, but I can appreciate all these. Like the, I like to see it constantly grow there, and I like to fill those holes in the collection. You know, it keeps me searching for something, but you guys can see the differences here. Like, it doesn't have the hearts here. It doesn't have the black designs with the stars going down. Like, you do get some differences here, so I guess it's just kind of PYP, pick your poison there. But I enjoy all the Bret Hart's. I, I I will say that these head sculpts here in the middle look so much better than the rest. The smirking one over here is not horrible. This wide open mouth one's kind of weird, but this one right here I don't like. This one over here, just nah. Don't like it. Need to get more of these and put that over there, because I think the likeness is much better. It really reminds me of the character portrayed on my television, and that's what we always like to see out of our WWE action figures. Alright man, so getting into Mankind's accessories, you get two interchangeable head sculpts and two pairs of interchangeable hands. Now this is our new Mick Foley or Mankind head sculpt here. You guys can see he's got like like the natted hair obviously had been through hell in this matchup, pun intended, but there is a tooth in the nose. The likeness is really good, and you guys can see this, like, he, like, bit his lip, or, like, his mouth is bleeding from the, you know, the grueling punishment in this matchup, and I think it looks pretty good. I guess technically this is our first, like, blood Mattel figure, and it looks good here, and then you have, like, this classic head sculpt here that we've seen a hundred times from Mattel by now, but it does have the removable mask on here, and I think this looks pretty good as well. This one's I've always kind of liked, and this one, it's weird because 
because this one's taller, and I don't know. It's just, I, I don't know. Which one do you guys like? I like the expression on this one. I just feel like maybe it's a bit too tall, and that's why maybe, you know, his body looks so long, but the mask sculpt's nice, you know, everything like that. I, I like it. Kind of gives me, like, leather face vibes, always has, so that's pretty cool. I think Mattel does a good job on the Mankind. I dig both Mankind head sculpts. I think these are great, so I guess now we need one without the tooth in the nose. That way, you know, you could have, like, this beat-up Mick Foley grin. And then outside of that, you do have, like, these wide-open hands, which I really don't I, don't, I don't know why they gave him this. I mean, I, I feel like you could have given him a lot of stuff, but didn't he wear wrist tape and hand tape in this matchup, or am I tripping? Anyway, there's bare hands, and then you have Mike holding hand, and that's it for your Mankind. No steel, I feel like a steel chair would have went really good with this, you know? A, a steel chair accessory would have been cool. Alright, man, so diving into Mankind himself, starting out with the head sculpt, we took a look at it, you know? I like the head sculpt, man, I really do. I just think that, like, when you look at the complete body of work with this head sculpt, and, like, just the torso, he just looks jacksy, bro. I, and like I've said that since the beginning, it just looks jacksy, man. That's really all I can say. You do have this sculpted shirt here with the tie down there. It doesn't like flail around or anything that is sculpted on there in place. You have these cool sculpted sleeves on here, but I don't really care for it because it looks like it's like tight on his arms, like he's filling it out like a damn maximum sweat figure. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I think it's cool and unique. It's just like his arms are too big and jacked, and then you got this involved, and then you have like the shoulders that are smaller, so it looks like it's like tight fit, like I said. And it looks, I don't, it's just weird. At least weird looking. But you spin it around, he does have the tacks in the back, which is so cool. It's got like silver metallic paint on there, which is really awesome. The double jointed arms are great and, and everything. And I like the tears at the bottom of the shirt. That's cool as well. He's got the brown pants in here or tights. And then they go down into the boots, which look really good. The boots look really highly detailed as well. The eyelets of the boots are even painted silver, which is a nice touch. But say what you want to, this figure looks jacksy, man. Just look how big he is in the, like he doesn't look frumpy, kind of like man kind was he looks like i don't even know like look at him standing there i don't know you guys can let me know down in the comment section below but for your figure comparisons we do have a couple mankinds here that look a bit frumpy you have a cactus jack here with the head swab i think i can't remember what elite this was exactly but then you have the rock and sock connection two pack which I, I think this is a great representation of mankind especially in like the black pants like the SummerSlam elite which i don't like that's another the elite 51 mankind i sold i'm missing the summer slam elite saw it multiple times didn't grab it don't have the elite 17 or the elite 14 or whatever that was i think it was elite 17 so i'm missing some mankind figures as well but am i tripping man i just think they did it right with these and i feel like they could have done the same or a similar thing like they did with this mankind here he's got the right like some upgraded version of these sculpted sleeves and this overthrow shirt would have done wonders i think for this mankind i don't know am i tripping or does he look like a titan tron live figure or something like that's what it reminds me of i just feel feel like I see a Jax figure when I see this and I think that they could do it better and they could fix it up right but I don't know what that looks like completely but I am glad not to have another damn sweatpants Shane McMahon legs like I'm so tired of this leg mold and these shoes together garbage get them out of here ugly we've seen it it needs to go away. This too. Same thing. I hate it. But uh, yeah, Jaxy Mankind, jacked ass torso. Like, look at it, man. I might experiment with that figure and try to see if I can do something different because uh, I think it needs it. And then for your Titan Tron Live Mankind figure comparison, here's the Ultimate Edition Undertaker figure, which is really cool. So, now we just need a damn crowdfund Hell in a Cell with a Terry Funk Ultimate Edition with removable shoes for our, ch for our Undertaker Ultimate to choke slam this one through the middle of the cage. You could have Operational Door, Operational Top Door, that like a trap door at the top. You could have announcer tables that come with it. You could have some more ring skirts that come with our Attitude Era ring or like other rings that we've got. I think that's the next play at a crowdfunder. A Hell in a Cell or Elimination Chamber playset. set. It's the only way. It's the only damn way, damn it. You can have like metallic looking plastic that makes it look really official. Oh, damn, bro. Now I'm working myself up. Like you could come with so many cool Ultimate Editions in that thing. Huh. You could do an Ultimate Mankind that would be this figure but ten times better. Bloody head sculpts maybe. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you get the point. Alright man, before we get out of here, we're gonna rank this Defining Moments box set because you guys know I gotta do that, right? Gotta do it, so let's go ahead and dive into it, man. Also, just a thought, anytime we get a set like this, man, we need a Build-A-Figure, man. Throw a damn Build-A-Figure in the set. Throw it in there. Who cares? Just do it. I'll pay extra. Nonetheless, coming out at the bottom of the ranking, man, for me is gonna be the Mankind figure. I mean, it kind of speaks to itself. We've kind of talked about, like, all my issues with this figure in this video. A bit jacksy. You know, I don't like the formula. It, there's, there's different things 
things going on with it, but I think it's my least favorite out of the four. Up next, we have the Shawn Michaels figure. Not the biggest fan of the head sculpt, and I think that really, like, made or break, broke the figure, to be honest with you. But it was very close between two and three. It was very, very difficult. I just, I don't know. I just think with a head swap, the figure would be so much better. Coming in at number two, we're going with the Bret Hart figure. If we didn't just get the Legends Ultimate, I'd probably feel differently about it. And I just got the Chase Elite 94 figure, which is very similar as well. But I do like the all pink. I think it's nice. And really, I wanted to put Sean above, but I couldn't because of the head sculpt. I think this is a better representation of Bret Hart than this is of Shawn Michaels. And that's what it came down to. And then number one, obviously, is going to be the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Love this figure. I think this is fantastic. And I like this set overall, you know. I think that it is worth the grab. Even though you're de you're dealing with some cool stuff, but at the same time, I mean, it's it's not like the greatest Defining Moments pack of all time. But at the same time, I appreciate some of the stuff they did here. Mankind could be so much better. Shawn Michaels' head sculpt could be better, but I do like the figure. Bret Hart, again, we just got that Legends Ultimate that's an all-pink gear. So it's like, I could see where you'd be like, eh. And then last but not least, I think this one is my favorite. I just love the torn pack. I like the match. The match was incredible. I love Cody. I mean, I love Shawn, Mankind, and Bret, too. It's just, I love this moment. I think it's very unique. I love the upgrade in head sculpt. The gear is fire. Lots of cool things going on with it, but at the end of the day, I think this is my ranking of the Defining Moments 4-pack if I had to do so. But nonetheless, man, I am getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on these Defining Moments figures, this whole set. Who do you think should be in the next one? I have a couple ideas for the next one, but I'd like to know what you think down in the comment section below, man. But nonetheless, huge shout out to our patron army over there, man. Always love you guys. Always appreciate the supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. You guys are absolutely beasts. But nonetheless, I'm getting out of here, man. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I greatly appreciate it. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you in the next video. We'll never back down. We will not relent.